Welcome back everybody, we're looking at some extremely cringe gym clips. Starting with this guy, right? Being bigger or stronger than others does not make you better than them, be humble. I so Bro, that was the most absolute Omega cringe I've ever seen in my life. Just because you are stronger than the other person doesn't mean you need to walk up to them and show off mid mid of their set, right? I thought you were going to go there and, you know, help the guy maybe, I don't know, correct his form or give him some advice to lift heavier or something like that. But no, you just started pressing, bro. Why are you acting like you're the strongest person on earth? There's probably like 50 people in the gym right there who are stronger than you. And they could do the exact same thing to your weights, bro. I don't like this is superiority complex absolutely needs to stop. Being an attractive man or woman doesn't give you the right to do this to someone. When my friend tells me that there's a handsome guy training behind me, but we have different tastes. You basically post this guy on the internet for everybody to see, and you basically publicly shame his looks. This is so, like, I don't know how, what level of narcissist you have to be to actually do this. Like, imagine somebody turned around and did this exact same thing to you, okay? It was like a bunch of guys, and they're, like, pointing to a girl being like, oh, there, she's kind of ugly. I mean, you know, my friend said she was uh, pretty, but I think she's kind of ugly. Like, it's so dumb. You're just encouraging people to comment on his appearance, which is just an absolutely scummy thing to do. I don't know. I don't care if you think you're attractive or something nothing gives you the right to do this to other people man i don't even fit in a mclaren pull up to the gym making less than 10k a month pulling up in your bullshit Corolla and I pull up on my McLaren. It's not even a contest, dude. No one gives a fuck about your muscle. Dude, why do they all look like just the stereotypical D bags, bro? I don't know what it is. Sunglasses, they just got the shirt off, got the mic taped on the chest, the old classic. You think this is a status contest? Like, oh, everybody is just shoving their money in people's faces, their muscles, their. I don't know, status, everything like that. It's not a competition, bro. I mean, you can think it's a competition, whatever, but most people are just there going to the gym to work out, you know, get, get in some exercise. And they pretty much do this for like years and years and years. So this is pretty much just a part of routine or something. I think even if you had a McLaren or whatever, like uh, a car, fancy car like that, why would you pull up to the gym in that, bro? I don't, I don't just don't see a, a point in showing off. Like, who are you showing off to? The gym is like filled with people who do not give a sh about your fancy car, honestly. And this guy flexing he le that, that he makes 10K a month as well, bro. Bro acting like he's earning $500 million. Even though, even if he did that, it would still like not change it. But it's just funny that he's flexing 10K a month, bro. Calm down. This is the internet, bro. You you, you know how much people earn on here, bro? It's a, ain't, ain't a contest. You're gonna get humbled really quickly. We need to stop judging people off anything besides their heart and how they treat others. No one should ever belittle someone because of how much money they make or what car they drive. Making more money than someone or driving expensive car does not make you better bro i'm about to pull out the s word the old society i hate this stupid unwritten rule in society where you are treated differently because of all these things okay because of your you know your your status your money your just appearance things like that just in every single way people find it to make it like a competition a comparison between people oh well i checked that youtuber's instagram and well he doesn't post uh, daily pictures of his lamborghini so obviously he's completely broke and uh, should not be respected whatsoever it's like bro some people are just trying to chill out here all right not everything is meant to be uh, a showing off sort of competition where i'm just trying to one up everybody like no bro now i did want to mix in some positive ones as well so you guys don't get a uh, an unfair view of the world or something like not everybody's like this okay short-term girls long-term vision thank you so much for inspiring me today niece peace
All right, first day on the treadmill, absolute goat. Honestly, I respect absolutely anybody willing to put in the work, okay? And it can't, it can't be easy, okay? Constantly being, you know, just shamed by society, your surroundings influence you so much as well. And people really encourage you to just give up, honestly. Anytime you try something worthwhile, people will encourage you to give up. Society will encourage you to give up. There's, there's like 15 McDonald's right next to you. Everything is temptations. And it's, it's really hard to resist and actually go on the right path. So massive respect to this person right here. Good job, Tease. Comparison is the thief of joy. 70, that's crazy. It's actually not that impressive. What? It's not that impressive. Yeah, it is. No. To me, it is. You know what they say? What? They say comparison is the thief of joy. You compare yourself to others and you'll never be happy. So that's impressive weight. Who cares what other people lift? Okay, I gotta say, very wholesome message. But also, there's no way. There's no shot that wasn't set up, bro. I mean, what, this girl just randomly walks up and goes, comparison is the thief of joy. Just Socrates just pulls up, huh? Eh, I, listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying this, all right, bro? Clearly got it set up for the, the girl to come in. But whatever, preaching a, a, sl a good message, okay? I get it, all right? Good job, good job. 99.9% .9 of people in gyms don't film their workouts and don't want to be in your video. They have the right to say that. POV, you're recording your workout and a guy version of Karen gets mad. The camera's pointing at him when I've been there recording before he got there. That logic made absolutely no sense. Basically, what she's trying to say is that, hey, I was recording all this time and he walked in to my camera frame. Therefore, he's actually in the wrong and he's not allowed to express his opinion about not be wanting to be on camera. But the thing is... This isn't a private gym, you absolute moron. This is a public gym, and you're pointing at the other equipment, including yourself. So obviously, some other people are going to be in the video, and they have complete full right to say, hey, I don't want to be in this video, it's kind of annoying me, I don't want to be plastered on the internet like this. A lot of people are just not comfortable in front of the camera, and just because you think you can do that for, you can film yourself, right? There's like no problem with that. I mean, uh, it's it's a bit bit uh, narcissistic to do. I mean, depending on why you're doing it, if you want to check your form and stuff, that's fine. If you're posting it on social media for people to see your, your epic squats or something, I mean, whatever. I mean, you can do what you want. I just find it a little cringe. But listen, including other people, in your workout is just absolutely cringe. This is what the gym is all about. This is true gym culture. Thank you to these young men. Now that, that is a good gym bro right over there, okay? Just, I don't know, helping a, helping a stranger on a set, pretty wholesome stuff. And this I can kind of believe that it's not staged or something. This is something that could potentially happen in the gym. I mean, I've definitely seen like something similar happen, not this exact way. Gyms need to revoke memberships for this. If you're too insecure to be in my camera for a half second, make a home gym and stay home, pussy. Dude, that's so cringe. Why? Okay. If you are recording something, don't take up the entire goddamn space, bro. I don't know what you're doing. Record in a flipping corner so that other people are not in your video. I'm, it's so annoying, bro. People really think that it's like... Some people have, have image issues. Some people might have a bad day. They just don't want to be on camera, bro. It's just a just an unnecessary headache. It doesn't matter the reasoning behind why he didn't want to be in the camera for half a second. It's just annoying, bro. Stop. All right, click this video. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.